वेलकम बैक टू दावा प्रोग्रामिंग सीरीज एंड टूडे वी विल अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू राइट डाउन दी प्रोग्राम टू प्रिंट समेशन ऑफ वन टू टेन सो बिफोर वी जम्प इन टू दी प्रोग्राम लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दी प्रोग्राम डेफिनेशन सो हियर वी हैव टू प्रिंट दिस समेशन ऑफ वन टू टेन राइट सो बिफोर वी डू दी समेशन वी हैव टू जनरेट दी वन टू टेन राइट वी हैव टू जनरेट दी वन टू टेन नंबर एंड वी नो दैट हाउ टू प्रिंट दी वन टू टेन राइट हाउ टू जनरेट दी वन टू टेन so we can just take the for loop i can just take the for integer i is equal to 1 i less than or equal to 10 and i plus plus if i'll try to print the value of i it will print 1 to 10 we got the 1 to 10 perfect but i don't have to print the 1 to 10 i have to do the summation of 1 to 10 so now here you have to analyze your thought process so forget about the java let me give you the five numbers let's say 1 2 3 4 5 just try to think the summation of five numbers right just try to calculate in your mind what will be the summation of this five numbers so try to pause the video and try to calculate the answer for the summation of this five numbers so definitely your answer will be 15 right now analyze your thought process how you calculated the answer 15 how you got the answer 15 so definitely we are doing this summation in this way So first of all, we are doing the summation one plus two, it's a three. Then three plus three, it's a six. Six plus four, it's a ten. And ten plus five, it's a fifteen. So finally, we are getting the answer fifteen, right? So we are not doing the summation at once. We are not doing the summation of all the five numbers at once. So how we are doing the summation? We are just taking the first two numbers, then we are doing the summation, and we are storing this number somewhere in our memory, right? Somewhere in our mind. With that result, we are just taking the next number. Okay, whatever summation we are getting, again we are storing somewhere. Okay, again we are taking the next number. We are doing the summation. We are storing somewhere. Again we are taking the next number. We are doing the summation, and we are storing the summation value somewhere in our mind, right? so what we are doing we are taking some temporary memory we have some temporary memory so we are updating that temporary memory continuously so same process we have to follow here so we have to take the next number every time and we have to do addition of next number plus previous result right so first of all uh, let me just try to take any of the variable like this temporary memory we are storing 3 6 10 15 right so let's say integer Uh, let's say temporary is uh, let's say result so here the i will be your next number right so continuously i will give you the next number so what we have to do next number plus our previous result okay we have to do the addition of next number and previous result so you can see here previous result plus next number and whatever result we are getting that we are updating again into the result so i can just write down result is equal to result plus i but whenever we are taking the first time i let's say i is 1 what will be the value of previous result so previous result we can just keep it as a zero right previously we don't have a result so this is our program to do the summation of 1 to 10 so let's try to understand the execution of the program so first of all we have a result zero so i'll just write down r which is the zero okay our i start from 1 and we don't have any output right we are not printing any output so whenever first time when i start from 1 it will check the condition 1 less than or equal to 10 condition is true it will do result which is 0 plus 1 right so again result will be 1 because 0 plus 1 it's a 1 second time i will be 2 okay and 2 plus result which is 1 so 2 plus 1 which is 3 right so result is 3 now third time i will be 3 so 3 plus 3 result is 6 fourth time i will be 4 so 4 plus 6 it's a 10 fifth time i will be 5 so 5 plus 10 it's a 15 so similarly how we are thinking we are just doing it here you can see here so 0 plus 1 1 1 plus 2 3 3 plus 3 6 6 plus 4 10 10 plus 5 15 so same way we are just doing here right finally i can just print the value of the result so i can just try to print the result which will give you the summation of 1 to 10 so when i run this program it will give you the summation of 1 to 10 which is 
so generally we are using this variable as a sum so i can just use the variable instead of result it's a sum so how can we do the summation of 1 to n numbers it's a sum is equal to sum plus i so whenever you want to do the sum of natural number from 1 to n or 1 to 10 or 1 to 20 you just have to do sum is equal to sum plus i so it will give you the summation of 1 to n number perfect so i hope you are clear now how to do the summation of 1 to 10 so that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it if you have any comments regarding this video try to write down into the comment section thanks everyone and we'll see you into the next video